So when in Kentucky, you gotta go to Bucky's. This place is outrageously big. Like, where do you see this? This is a gas station, um, truck stop, restaurant. I mean, it's like Disneyland. This Use the left lane to make a U-turn at South Robinson Road. It's there's so many people here. It's just it's wild. Bucky's. This place like has beef jerky, the beef brisket. Um, make a U-turn, then take a slight right turn to merge onto I-75 North. Yeah, zip it. Sorry, I'm talking here. Yeah, so it's just this huge travel center. Wait, wait, you see this place? And I mean, their advertising dollars. <laughs> they have the market cornered for advertising. Look, I'm gonna be a smart guy. Oh yeah, sorry about that. My bad. I guess I wasn't that smart cut in front of that lady. I'm thinking that huge lineup is for gas. And maybe this line is like for beef jerky. That's what I want. Beef jerky is so damn expensive. It's ridiculous. In New York State where I'm from, it's 20 bucks, 25 bucks a bag. Wow, look at this place. This place is massive. It's crazy in here. Sees the New York license plate. Dicks from New York. Oh shit, there's a space right there. Damn it. Uh, I could have parked there, but this freaking guy's right on my ace. Look at this place, it's jumping. Actually, I'm curious how much their prices of gas are. Like, you would almost wonder uh, this many pumps if uh, the gas is like, you know, is it super cheap? What's, what's the draw? I mean, there's like over a hundred gas pumps. It's crazy. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to park only because people are right directly on your ass. I got a spot right here. Bucky's. Take a little look see, shall we? So I'm on a road trip with this car. I don't know the codes for the thing. And I only have one key. It's kind of stressful to just have one key. You know, especially when you live an active lifestyle like me, climbing rocks and doing shit. It's hard to, uh, hard to imagine. Oh, this is actually a good deal. 119 bucks for a fire rack. I've actually always wanted a, something to put my firewood in. But, uh, yeah, it's hard to imagine what would happen if I, uh, 
if I was to lose this only key, I don't know what I would even do. It'd be crazy. It'd suck. Wow, look at this place. Sensory overload. I guess I'll start over here. Well, maybe I won't. At the stop sign, turn left onto South Robinson Road. This way. Then keep right. But then again, <laughs> maybe I won't. Bucky the Beaver. It's like being in uh it's like being in Nashville again here. I'm back in Nashville. Candied jalapeno. That could be good. Buckle. Yeah. Let's see. All kinds of shit here. Hot sauce. Order number 49. 49, please. Yeah, I'll probably get some food. Order maybe up some uh, beef brisket or something. I don't know. Milk chocolate coconuts. Almonds. Milk chocolate coconut almonds. You know what? I might have to get those. Oh, here we go. I see I see something. I see the beef jerky section. Yeah, well guess what? DJ lied to me. He said this shit was like ten bucks for a bag. Oh wait, there we go. Sorry, sir. Oh he's right. Some smaller bag, but ghost pepper. Try that. I'm vegan. You guys sell any vegan jerky? No. Like tofu or something? No. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. All kinds of flavors, huh? What's a, what's a good one? What do you think's the best? I got ghost pepper here. What's another one? Ghost pepper is hot. Uh, yeah. Bohemian garlic is the most popular, but it's not too hot. Okay. It's the most popular. Yeah. Is it super crazy garlic? No. Mm -hmm. All right. Steakhouse made from solid strips of beef. Huh. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take your suggestion. All right. Yeah, have a good day. All right, I think I will grab some of those. Uh... Chocolate almonds. I'm tempted on these. Chocolate coconut almonds. This bag seems bigger. I've seen. I have ordered 149, 149. Ready for pickup. I'll be honest, as far as uh, beef jerky aspects, I'm a little nonplussed. I was expecting a place this big would have an insane, like, bags this big of beef jerky is what I was, what I was hoping for. That's what I was hoping for. So anyway, you get the, you get the picture here. No need to film anymore. There's tons of shit back there, but I don't want to bore you. I'll wait in that line and get some food. So I'm thinking beef brisket. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Oh, wait. We got more beef jerky? No, gummies. Wait. For the people that eat sugar. I don't eat sugar. All right. DVC, over and out. All right. I 
got myself a beef brisket sandwich, freshly chopped by this dude right here. When he's not working at uh, the local meth lab or making moonshine, he's doing the beef jerky. And I take it back about the beef jerky, speaking of beef jerky. There's a whole section right here. So I'm tempted to put these bags back and just order the jerky by the pound. I could get a whole pound for 30 bucks. And that's what I'm thinking. I might do that instead. Yeah. That might be, in the world of beef jerky, more economical. Yeah, 30 bucks a pound. Rather than, let's see how much this is. Uh, only four ounces. So it's at 16 ounces in a pound. That's that's going back to my weed days. Remember the measurements. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably put these back. And here's some more. Sorry. So check it out. 20 bucks for uh, how much is that? Ten ounces. Well, I got some beef jerky decisions ahead of me here. I'm excited to crust this uh, brisket sandwich. Hey, this place is huge. It's still going here. Here's Rachel. Bucky guys everywhere. Sorry, buddy. Look at that. Good stuff on this Bucky's place. Pretty cool. I'm glad I stopped. All kinds of stuff here. Wow, look at this. Dead cow skin. <laughs> All right. Over and out. All right, so I went with a half a pound of Korean barbecue, and he's wrapping me up a half a pound of uh, Bohemian uh, garlic. Uh, thank you very much. All right. So I got all kinds of stuff now. I just need a drink. Uh... Dead stuff. Bucky version. Yeah, I gotta go way back over here. But I got hooked up on the beef jerky. I'm looking good on the beef jerky, that's for sure. So a drink. Yeah, look at chopping up that brisket. Wow, that looks I can smell it. some drinks here. All right. All right, finally back to the car. A place this massive, you would think that they have uh, like some picnic tables or something, you know? They do got their own cherry vanilla flavored pop. That's interesting. But I guess I got to eat my sandwich in the car because they don't have freaking anywhere to sit that I can see anywhere, um, unless I'm wrong, but. Oh, look at, look at, he's floating. 
No way. Have you ever seen a dragon fly? Oh, hover like that? That was crazy. He was hovering like a helicopter. All right, so it looks like uh, I'm gonna have to eat in the car. Uh, and I guess that's all right. I mean, it's hot as balls out here anyway, so it's like 100. So yeah, I'll turn on the AC and have my brisket sandwich. It was 12 bucks for the extra large one. All right, so I'm back for the taste test of this bad boy brisket. Oh, look at this thing. The meat's just like pouring out. That is all day long worth 12 bucks. Candy. It's so big that everybody take a huge chunk falls out the side. Mm. Look at that. Oh my god. So good. Bucky's two thumbs up. As I mentioned earlier, they should definitely have a uh, you know somewhere to fucking sit down and eat. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they do. But uh, when I pulled in, I it's like a waiting in line at Disneyland just to get in the parking lot. So there's thousands of people here. It's pretty amazing. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I'm down to half a tank, so I could actually get some gas and see what they charge. I'm interested. I would think if I had to guess $3 range, which would be good, because throughout my trip, it's been 4 bucks pretty much. So. Place this big, if they're getting good gas prices, I would think 3 would be a fair price per gallon. I don't know. I'll let you know. Well, as you can see, that sandwich was uh, delicious. It was gone. It's gone. As I was eating, I was looking at this sign. It's uh, pretty impressive. The Once you get into upper management there, 100 k for assistant general manager. Car wash manager, 125 k a year. Food service manager, 125 to 175 k General manager, 150 k to 225 k So if you're a broke-ass uh, person and... You need employment, move to the southern states and work at Bucky's. That's big money. 150k to general manager this place? Oh, easy peasy. I'm not gonna lie, these chocolate covered coconut almonds <clears throat> are amazing. So this is only five bucks for this giant bag. If I was to eat that whole bag, I'd get a stomach ache. Whoa, I like the sound of that. Whatever that is. Where is it? I hear it. What is it?